Families pack everything they own and head for safety. Forced from their homes, unsure where they're going or if they'll ever return. Many have already fled other parts of the country during Syria's nine-year civil war. My daughter is about to give birth and I don't know what is going to happen to her. I don't know where we are going to live, where we are going to go. This is what they're running from. Syria and Russia are attacking rebel-held Idlib from the air. On the ground, fighting has intensified with reports of heavy battles between rebels and government forces. A renewed drive by President Bashar al-Assad to recapture the country's last opposition enclave in the northwest has sparked a new exodus. On Monday, tens of thousands of civilians fled towards Turkey's border. Since December, it's estimated that more than 350,000 people have been displaced from the region. People can no longer handle all this shelling. Many had been very patient and waited, but today they all fled because of the regime's advancement. Syrian regime forces are edging closer to Marat al numan It's now largely deserted and destroyed after months of bombardment. But it sits on the M5 highway, which links Damascus to Syria's second city, Aleppo. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says government forces have reached the city's eastern, northern and southern outskirts. Its capture would mark a significant advance in al-Assad's drive to take back all of Syria. But as fighting escalates, the human cost is also rising. The organisations here are totally powerless. That's why we are calling on the UN and other international associations to intervene. Turkey, which backs some rebel groups opposed to al-Assad's regime, already hosts more than 3.5 million Syrian refugees. This latest bombardment could potentially lead to more soon crossing the border. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera.